What is the difference between the civil rights movement and the so-called gay rights movement of today? Not a whole lot. Um, unfortunately, I think there are some things that we accepted philosophically in the civil rights movement that were not based in biblical truth. And those things are being applied in the gay rights movement the exact same way. And now we're calling them out. Um, for example, the idea of constituentizing people to, to, to create a word, <laughs> you know, seeing people as constituencies and seeing rights as rights for constituencies of people. Um, and, and this continued division of ourselves based on our con con uh, you know, constituencies and our so-called communities, this community, that community, the other community, and, and rights um, being sort of divvied up by community. Uh, that's problematic. And this, this you know, hyphenated understanding of ourselves, um, as opposed to a view that sees us as, as one people, um, opposed to a view that sees us as moving toward that concept and I, that idea of us as one people. Um, I think what we're seeing now is the homosexual community latching on to some of those very concepts. These concepts, by the way, which are rooted and grounded in cultural Marxism. Um, this, this, this was the goal of Gramscian Marxism. Um, divide people up into constituencies. And, and then the way you gain power is by making promises to and representing particular constituencies. Now, you never give them what you promise, but by creating this idea of constituencies and being the one who was the representative of the constituencies, you gain power and you keep your power to the degree that things don't get better for your constituency. Because see, if things get better for your constituency, you lose your power. So now what happens is even when gains are made, you have to downplay those and go looking for other things that are problems. Because again, that's the way you keep your power. Um, the homosexual community has latched onto that, has identified themselves as a constituency who is deserving of you know, uh, our, our attention uh, and, and our, our pity. Um, you know, they did this intentionally using the AIDS crisis. And the direct result is they now have achieved a one-to-one -one correlation uh, that we're finding it very hard to move away from. Um, so are there differences between uh, ethnicity and so-called sexual orientation? Absolutely there are. Ethnicity is innate uh, and unchangeable. So-called sexual orientation is not innate um, and it is changeable. Um, we know this, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 is 2,000 year old evidence that people stop being gay. Um, so, so we know that it's neither innate nor is it unchangeable. So there are huge differences between the two. However, if all you're doing is uh, using the language of the culture and the idea of people as constituencies, um, then you end up right where we are and it's hard to stop that train.